Hello and welcome to the 49th episode of Arcade Corner. My name is Josue Diaz and I am a licensed architect in the state of California. Today we're going to be talking about corridors and exit passageways. More specifically, we're going to talk about the difference between them. If you've seen past episodes of Arcade Corner, you'll notice that I normally use sketches to explain a lot of the concepts. But for today's episode, I am going to show you a 3D model. It's a little basic, but I think it will help explain the concept a little better. Let me know what you think of the format in the comments below. So let's get started. Here is a 12 story building and we are going to discuss the general ingress and egress of the building. This is key to understanding the difference between corridors and exit passageways. Let's start with ingress or entry to the building, which will happen on the first floor. In this particular first floor, we have a main entry that is used to come into the building shown in blue. This large entry lobby or corridor leads to the elevator lobby, shown in green, which is normally used to access the upper floors. So, let's assume that we go up the elevators, past the garage levels, and onto the fifth floor. Assuming we want to access the fifth floor tenant space, we get out of the elevator and into the elevator lobby, shown in green. And then we go into the corridor, shown in blue, which will lead into the tenant space. However, if the fifth floor was not our final destination, we could have continued and gone up the elevator and on all the way to the 12th floor. Once on the 12th floor, we get out of the elevators, into the elevator lobby, shown in green, then into the corridor, shown in blue. And from the corridor, we can access the 12th floor tenant space. Let's pause here and discuss what we have discovered so far. And that is that corridors can be used to access the building or ingress the building. You can come into the building from the ground floor, which is usually a lobby, and access whichever floor you want to go to all the way up to the top of the building. And that is a key to understanding the difference between corridors and exit passageways. So have that in mind. Corridors can be used to enter the building. Next, we're going to talk about egressing or exiting the building. Okay, so let's get back to the video. To show the exit sample, let's start from the top, quite literally. We're starting from the top of the building so that we can show how it exits. However, let's work in reverse now. If we want to exit the 12th floor tenant space, we exit into the corridor, shown in blue. And instead of going into the elevators, we go into the stairs, shown in red, and we work ourselves down. Now, something interesting happens when we work ourselves down the stairs. To see what happens, we must look at the overall building egress system. And for this, we must deconstruct the building and show only the stairwells. Pretty cool, right? Now, notice how at the fifth floor, the stairwells going up the building are not connected to the stairs going down the building because they shift locations. Let's look at the fifth floor plan to see how we can connect them. Notice that we have a corridor which we will now show in red, that connects the stairwells. Therefore, if someone is coming down the stairs from floors higher up, they can use this corridor to access the stairs at the corners. If we were exiting from the fifth floor tenant space, we could also exit into the corridor, which in turn, exit into the exit passageway. Or we could exit directly into the exit passageway. And there it is. I already said it. This is an exit passageway. You can think of an exit passageway as an extension of the stairs. And because of this, the fire rating of this exit passageway will most likely be higher than the fire rating of the corridor we discussed earlier, shown in blue. So, if we go back to the overall building egress showing the stairs, now we can add the piece that we were missing, the exit passageway. And that's it guys, did you catch the difference between a corridor and an exit passageway? If not, let's review. A corridor can be used for ingress or to enter a building as well as egress or exiting a building. But an exit passageway can only be used to exit or egress a building. It cannot be used to enter a suite. I repeat, an exit passageway can only be used for exit. You cannot put an entry to a suite from an exit passageway. 
And because exit passageways often connect two different stairways or a stairway in the exit, they have higher fire rating requirements. And that's it guys, I hope you liked the video. And please consider supporting me. If you would like to do so, you can do so through my Patreon account and my Buy Me A Coffee account, which I mentioned earlier, are in the description of the video below. Also, if you haven't liked the video, please like it and subscribe. That really does help, believe it or not. And you can always share this video with other people that you think might like this type of content. I'm also leaving you with a couple of videos I think you might like. But for now, this is Archie Corner, signing out.